Last week I got, uh, got a couple of parcels sent to me of coloured veneers. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Reds, yellows, blues, purples, greens, oranges, if I can do it without. Salmon coloured, black, grey, which is hairwood. Lovely stuff. So what I thought I'd do, I'd do a little parquetry. So that's, that was, that was yesterday morning. I thought I'd do something a bit different and did that. There's another one that I, I played with, which is uh, two dimensional or three dimensional, which I haven't unwrapped yet. And the reason <clears throat> for gluing paper, the paper is actually glued onto the upside the side you're going to see, it holds it all together so nicely. When I finish doing what I'm doing, I then just wet this because it's high glue. It's not PVA, it'll just peel off. And I want to cut these at 60 degrees. So I should be doing that on the cutting mat. So you pick a straight edge, which will be that one there. A ruler so that then is 60 degrees and cut down that edge. I'm working on the back of the veneer and as I've said before it doesn't matter how long it takes it takes how long it's going to take. Sharp blade, soft strokes. So these strips here I'll use they're 12 mil and what I've got is a box of different size thicknesses of timber. So I just go through here and find my 12 mil ones. So these go either side and I put a ruler between them. <laughs> Like that, and then you just take your time but cut through them. Don't force it and don't hurry it. And when you think you've cut through, give it a couple more runs just to make sure. And there's a prime example why I like putting paper on the back. See, that one's actually broken, but because I've got a paper on the back, it holds it together. The temptation is to rush it and to force it. And if you do that, it's gonna take you more time because you're gonna to have to go back to the beginning and do it again. Now, once you've done that, then you offset these and then you glue them together. Now, let's get a board. Contact, book binding, contacting type stuff. I think it's three dollars a roll or something or other. It's not not expensive at all. The harder part with marketry is keeping everything together. Whereas using this stuff, you can keep everything together. To so lay it flat. And then grab some masking tape and actually stick it. So sticky side up onto the board. Now you just lay these on to the contact. Whatever pattern you so desire. And you can see the pattern starting to take shape. Now, if, if you're doing just two patterns like this, or two woods, if I need extra bits, say in here, I can cut it off here and just poke it up there and we can play around. This, this was really just a test piece I wanted to do to see how it would go. But isn't that good? I mean, it just I can do that. And that, and it won't fall off. You can't do that any other way. There you go. Okay. 
So that's the pattern I've got there. Now you can square that off, you can cut a cabochon out of it, whatever, but it's still loose. So I've got to get paper on the other side to glue it down and hold it together. Again, cut some of this book covering stuff. Okay. Place that over what you've just done. Rub it in so it's nice and hard so it connects. Then cut down what you've done. That bit can go in the rubbish. Push it on nice and hard. So you've got a good connection on, on this side. And then you peel off the original one you had. Okay, so we've got rid of the original one we had down there, and now this side is held on with the contact. Uh, I use baking paper, but any sort of paper that won't stick. Pop that down, grab your glue pot, and again I stress, not PVA, this is hide glue. Paint that over the, what will be the front of your job. Get your sheet of paper. Put it over the top like that. Make sure you rub it in nicely. Then put it between two boards and clamp it. And that's that. So when that's dry, you've now got um, a piece of parquetry. That's parquetry we just did. And parquetry is geometric shapes. Marquetry is pictures. And you can use it how you want or whenever you want. And it's not going to fall to bits. What I'll do with that, I'll use that as a feature on a, um, on a box, whether it'll be a, a cabochon or a lid or something like that. But you just let that paper dry on there and then when uh, the paper's dry, you peel the contact off the back and glue it down on your job. And then when it's glued, after it's glued and dried, then just lightly wet it and that newspaper will just come off and you can sand it and do whatever you like with it.